Alright. As you can see, I've been stabbing and banging on it all afternoon. The rust starts right there in the center of the screen on these rockers and goes back to the end of the rocker. And of course we're going to have to build the whole cab corner up because it's rotten all the way through also. I don't have one of them fancy hammers like you've got. And this can actually be built up again pretty easy. I'm pretty sure. But again, it's going to be an experiment because I don't know what I'm doing with it. Bottoms of the doors are okay till you get to the middle. I don't know if that's common on these or not. But the middle is all pooched. <clears throat> and so is that bottom seam on the door. That's not really much or nothing, but I'm going to plan on hitting those too. Let me come back here. Pull the fender flares off. And that's as far down as the rust goes right here. <coughs> and it goes all the way around to right there. This side is from just past here, which is where I figured I'd cut. Come up here for, I think, three and a half inches. And just go straight across, straight down, and cut off down below there. Now I'm planning on using that fender. So that one will be just cutting it out and uh, welding it on. And what I'm going to have to do is use what's left of that other fender and try to make me a patch for here. This one, starting right here, going up to this last little divot that I made here. And I don't think you can see it that well. That's the little pinhole I made right there. I actually stabbed that hard. So that's a good solid piece right there. But from there to there is 21 inches. And three inches high to, should cover the whole thing. Yeah, 21 by three. This one and probably patch that in pretty easy too with some of the extra meat left over from that fender because it's not all the way through and only I figured I'd cut it off right here and then cut it off right here midway yeah right there it's about two feet if I play my cards right I should be able to get every piece of metal that I need to patch up all the um, patch up all the holes and rust spots on this truck out of just that one fender. Of course, I'm gonna have to be kind of creative, and I know a guy that I can get. Well, he can tell me where to get the Dura glass and the um, the icing. He calls them something different, but they're essentially the same thing. I think his is Dura Coat, if I remember right. That's all I need to do to get those back right. And then I can put the put me a little Earl Shab special paint job on here myself. This is my trainer. If I mess this truck up. I honestly have nothing in it so far. 
when I get done buying the new crank bearings and pistons for it I'll have hundred and ten dollars in this truck I've got five hundred in that one and I'm using the parts off of it well 550 now and I'm using the parts off of it to fix this one namely the fender I will also have to get a throttle body for it because the one on that one I broke an injector so I'm gonna have to get a new injector for that one I forget what I did with the other one in my 11 16 wrench I couldn't find um oh I think it's in the other truck but anyway Get that all put back right. Get me a new tire or get that one patched. Because this is just going to be for around the, the farm here. So it doesn't have to be anything really super spectacular. But I want to try my hand at some body work and this will be my first good step with it. And since I've got that other metal to work with, i got something that I can use to patch all this stuff up and I can get creative with it and should be able to come out pretty good. Just wanted to see what you thought. See what you thought of my plans and if you might suggest anything else for me. Uh, thank you.